Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand constructors. In a previous session, we have seen how we can create methods and how we can call the methods. So here we have few methods and here we are calling these methods. So now constructor. Constructor can be defined as a special type of method, but Constructor name is always same as the class name. So we can understand constructor like a method. Like here, I'm going to create a constructor. Constructor name is always same as the class name. So here we have a class of the name A. So we are creating a constructor with the name A. So constructor can be defined as a special type of method. Constructor name is always same as the class name. As we seen in methods, we can return value. When we are returning value, we are giving data type. When we are not returning value, we are writing void. In case of the constructor, constructor can never return value. Means there is a no use of this void because we are using void in the method just because we are not returning value. If we want to return, we can write int. But in the case of the constructor, we can never return a value. So there is a no option of the void over here. So constructor can be defined as a special type of method. Constructor name is always same as the class name. Constructor never return a value. So we are not writing void over here. As we write code in method, we can write the same code in constructor as well. So here I'm writing system.out.println and this is constructor so we can write any code in the constructor as we are doing in the methods now we move to the calling so here we can see to call a method we are creating the objects now i want to call constructor so i'm just creating the object i'm going to run it and here you are going to see constructor is executed. So constructor is called automatically when we are creating object. So constructor can be defined as a special type of method. Constructor name is always same as the class name. Constructor never return a value. Constructor is automatically called when object is created. So here we can see we have just created the object. We are not calling any method, but as we created object, constructor is called automatically. Now I'm going to show you like we have seen constructor never return a value. So we are not using void over here. But can we pass argument in the constructor? Answer is yes. Like if you want to pass argument in constructor as we do in method, yes, we can do that. And here you can see I'm passing two arguments and here in the constructor I'm defining a variable which is z I'm saying a into b and result will store into the z so as we have created a multiply method in the same way we can write the same code in constructor as well so now question comes how to pass argument to the constructor so when we are creating object on the right hand side you are going to get this bracket whatever the argument you want to pass to the constructor you can define it over here so i want to pass 10 and 5 so these two arguments are going to the constructor here we see it is taking two argument multiplying that value and display the result now i'm running it again and here you can see we are getting result 50. So again to summarize constructor can be defined defined as a special type of method name is always same as class 
never return value but can take arguments and at the last constructor automatically called when we create object so here we have seen that is my constructor as of now we just have seen what is constructor now i'm going to show you what is the use of the constructor why we are creating constructors i'm coming to my eclipse and here now you can understand like whatever the code you want to execute at the start means you are calling this sub method you are calling the subtraction method you are calling multiplication method i want to display welcome message to the user before calling any method so if you want you can write welcome message in these method because you user can call any of the method so my requirement here is to display welcome message whenever user call any method but here user can call any method like sum subtract or multiply so what i can do i can display welcome message in the method itself so i'm writing like welcome to my class if the user is going to call this sum method so it's going to display welcome to my class i can see it over here like obj dot sum and this one so whenever we are calling it i'm running it and here it shows like welcome to my class so whenever we are calling any method we want to display first this welcome message and then perform rest of the task so in the same way if you want to write the same message on subtraction we can write it in the subtraction we can write it same message to the multiplication so in this case if user call sum or sub or multiply in all cases first message will be welcome to my class because i want to display this welcome message at the start so what we can do whatever the task we want to perform at the start we can write that code into constructor so now what's going to happen as user create object constructor will call and it will display welcome message so whatever the method user is going to call before that welcome message will be displayed so here in our case i'm running it so first it is showing welcome message and then calling the other method whatever the code we want to execute at the start of the class we can write the code into the constructor i'm going to take one more example that's a theoretical example like we have a table so i can show you ms paint and here we have three tables table a table b and table c in a database so i'm saying like a that's my b and that's my c so we have three tables in the database i want to pick the data from all the tables so here you are writing code for get a so i'm just taking example like we have written code here for picking the data from the table a in the same way you are writing a method to pick data from the table b so here we have written to pick data from the table b method to pick data from the table b and in the same way i am writing over here to pick data from the tables c so whenever user want to pick data from any of the table user can call it so i am going to call any of the method so here obj dot get a 
But if the user call either get A, get B or get C, before this calling, my database connection should be established. So here we can see the requirement is that whenever user is going to call any method, before calling the method, my database connection should be established. So here in this case, whatever the code you want to execute before your method calling, that code is going to be placed in the constructor. So if you want your database connection code, it will be great option to write here in the constructor because now you can connect database connection code because whenever you are creating object database connection will be established because constructor will call when we create object and now when we call any method database connection is going to be used over there so that is going to be a one use case for constructor so here in the session we have seen how we can create constructors, how the constructors are called, what is the use case of the constructor. We have covered all these things in the current session. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.